Hi and welcome to the channel. My name is Drew. This is Just a Guy Linux. And I have to mention one thing about last video. My video on DWM, I categorized it as a speed run. And I don't think that was accurate at all. It was much more of an instructional type of video. Uh, so I have since changed it, but wanted to let you know. At the end of the last video, I also mentioned that I would be doing a follow-up and this is it. Um, this is my production machine. It's using the ultra wide monitor. But more importantly, I am really digging DWM so much so that I believe I will be using it as my primary going forward. Um, I've been using BSPWM a very long time, and this is a major change for me, but man, it's, it's, I, it's really snappy is what all I can say. And let me demonstrate uh, some of the changes that I've made in the last 24 hours. Yesterday I installed six patches and I added another couple today. So let me talk about them really quickly. All right, and go over here, alpha. Um, it's actually not the alpha patch, but it is this fixed borders. And the reason why I installed fixed borders is because if you open up two uh, windows, it didn't really do what I expected it to do, was when you, um, when you changed the selection, uh, the border didn't work correctly, and now it does. So, uh, and this was a really, really simple fix. I just didn't know where it was initially, and it's under this uh, alpha um, patch. So, always center. Also, we demonstrated yesterday. So, what? Let me just think. Calculators. I think. That, yeah, right there. So, it's just going to show up in the center of the screen, and then you can move it around. Okay. Um, Auto start, we talked about again. Uh, it's so that you can start things, start applications when you're logging in. Move stack, um, I think is essential. It's so that you can move things, uh, move windows around the stack. And status 2D SysTray is a twofer. Basically what it's doing is it allows you to put images up here in this um, SL status. I don't use that, but I do use, obviously, um, the SysTray. But if I wanted to put um, images up here, I could. But the, um, the SysTray is demonstrated because OBS is currently running. Um, now with vanity gaps, uh, I think I'm using this third one down. It's so I could also add uh, a bunch of layouts, including centered master, which is what you're looking at, but I have not demonstrated yet. Okay, and I will. Um, and then window follow, and this is great. I didn't even know this was around. Uh, somebody commented um, on the last video, LQ Larry. Thank you very much. I didn't even know this was a thing, but now it's like awesome. And so I will again demonstrate that in a second. Now, with regard to Centered Master, I don't know that it's for everybody, but it's definitely for me. And in, the reason why I like it is specific to this display um, because it's wide. So if I open up, let's say, um, Thunar, okay? Now, 40% of the display is using Thunar. So Thunar technically is the master at this point, okay? Even though it is smaller than the stack, okay? However, once I add one more thing, let's just say a terminal, the terminal becomes master and is located in the center of the display. So you've got 40% as well as 30% on the outsides. But once you have three things open, it opens up directly in front of my face, which is really, really cool. Perhaps the best way to demonstrate this is to look at the configuration file while we're also looking at the uh, patches. So I have window follow open on the browser here, and it actually is indicated here in the top uh, on the status bar. And what has happened is um, I'm actively using window follow, and I'll talk about that. So, but basically what happens is uh, by default, DWM, if you move a window to a different tag or workspace, 
um, it does not follow you to that workspace. So this says, yes, it's going to follow it to the new workspace. So when I hit super shift four, it actually followed. It was on two and now it's on four. And because I was wanted the browser to be on workspace or tag four, it's now there and it is um, active. So let's talk about that in a second when I get down to that portion of the configuration. But before I get there, here's this section here. Now we talked about this slightly in the last video. This is because Vanity Gaps had uh, been patched. And it also shows these um, tile, B-Stack, and Centered Master, okay? And those are indicated, did I miss it? I did, right here. Right here, sorry. Uh, these layouts have been basically included now because of this patch. So that's kind of cool. Now, um, SysTray was also installed as part of Status 2D. I'm going to look around for Status 2D. Here we go. And I installed this one, which is Status 2D SysTray. So basically, again, uh, two patches in one. And then I did add a color called Color Barbie, which I am using as a uh, border selection. Uh, as far as this is concerned, this is um, the rules. Now with the rules, it's pretty straightforward. Although if you are unfamiliar with DWM, um, when I say I want GIMP to open up on this particular tag or workspace, it's just add one <laughs> because GIMP will open up on the seventh tag. So, and GitHub will be, GitHub desktop rather will be on two, nine, and eight, okay? As far as these, MPV and the, the like, I want them to uh, open up as floating. Now here's something interesting. I don't know if this is cool for anybody else but me. <laughs> it might be me as, as the only one. Um, and I'm, probably sh I'm sure you could probably get this to work on a different, but it was really easy to get this to work on Terminator. So I wanted something that was gonna be like Loading and full screen for a terminal, right? So if I hit super shift enter, Terminator is gonna open up and be like full screen. And you're, you're seeing the background. I think you're able to see the background because it's got a slight amount of transparency. Um, and I can always change that. So if like I said, preferences here, um, layouts, nope, profile colors or background here we go I can just say I want more transparency and then it's it's there it's kind of interesting like if I so I don't know I'm just kind of geeking out I think that it's kind of cool to have it full screen and it, there's some transparency to it anyway I might be the only one that thinks that's kind of neat okay um, now now's the time to complete the thought about window follow okay um, by default, this third line where it says define WF default uh, would have said WF inactive, okay? That would have been the default. I like having it on by default. So I did change this. And again, it's indicated up here as active by this um, greater than sign, less than sign, whatever you want, you know, that. Uh, and you can click it to change it. In case you want to uh, change it to inactive, it's really simple. You can just click on it, but there's also a um, key binding in case you want to. Uh, it is super shift N. So right here, if I say super shift N, it's changing it. You know, hopefully you're looking up here while I do this. So I'm gonna do it super shift N. Okay, and it's now, um, active once again, okay? With regard to vanity gaps, it's this uh, third one down that's been uh, patched. And the value for master area by default is 55, and I've changed it to 40 simply because 
my default layout is this centered master. Now, if you don't want this, clearly it's this is a me thing. Um, but if you put things in order here, one, two, three, and all the way down, there is a way to uh, change to a specific layout if you want. And I put in my personal preference was to use Shift Control one through zero to change the layout from one to 10. Okay, even though it says zero, but you get the idea. So because I have four things, four uh, windows on the screen, if I change, so right now it's uh, Control Shift one, which is default. Control Shift two, again, would be tile. Let me actually uh, move this so I can see what it would be. So it's tile right here. Tile would be two. Uh, control shift three is in grid. Control shift four is kind of cool. This floating master, interesting. Uh, you know, something to look at. So five is in monocle. Six uh, is in spiral. Seven eight, nine, and zero. Okay, but I'm gonna go back to one, okay? So something to consider if you want to play with the layouts, it's right there. Um, interesting, you can always reorder this in case you, you uh, because I think there's more than 10 here. You can always reorder them to your liking. Now I'm not gonna to spend too much. I am gonna go ahead and close these, these down. And so as far as um, key bindings, I'm not gonna go over this very much, but I will say this. I like using XXHKD in combination with these key bindings. Now you don't have to, I just prefer to. Uh, so X SXHKD is also on. So what do you, you know, but you don't want two uh, things to be on the same key bind. So I try to like minimize or if I am using something, I, I, you know, it's like, oh, I will never use that particular key bind. I'll just leave it there and change it to something that's comp something I'll never use. So basically the ones that I use are pretty much, I mean, I, I do use these layouts, but um, probably just this is all I use for, um, you know, for everyday use, okay? So I think I've demonstrated a lot of this, but focus stack is just, I just use the arrow keys on my keyboard. So if I am, I just say super and then right and left arrow key, okay. Um, control is changing the size of something, okay. So super control right or left. So basically it's just resizing the window, okay. And then move stack is super shift right and left. So super shift, just being able to move things around. And, and then, like I said before, I use super Q, Q to uh, quit. Um, and then, I don't know, super shift space. I don't know if I'm gonna super shift space. Yeah, it just changes the layout. I, I don't really use that, but I will probably just leave it there. Now, with regard to, this is gonna take a minute, but which is more than enough time to spend on this particular, on my particular um, uh, SL status configuration. I mean, this is it. The, these simple lines that basically say, you know, the only thing that's interesting at all is this run command, okay? And I don't even know if this works particularly well. However, I know there are people that use just run command, run command, run command, the entire, uh, everything is a run command, which is fine. Um, I don't use it because I just don't think I need it. But if you are looking for uh, scripts that uh, behave a certain way, I know Linux Dabbler has a, a series of scripts in his um, suckless uh, GitLab and those I'm assuming will work great because he is also a Debian user. Let's finish this up by talking about key bindings. Now, granted, you can use DWM and put everything in, but as, as I've discussed, I probably am only using this 
and then maybe this. But everything else is being managed by SXHKD. And as you can see, it's, it's a lot easier just to make one simple change here and then restart SXHKD and then you're good to go. I mean, because all you have to do to restart it is uh, this. Super Escape and you're good to go uh, with whatever change that you made. So as far as DWM is concerned, I like it. I like it a lot. I remember fairly recently that I did a video on i3 and I said that I would be using it going forward. I don't know that I gave it much of a shot because I think BSPWM is still still very, very good and comparable to i3 and I just felt more comfortable living in that environment. I don't have the same feeling about DWM. I really think that I will be using this going forward. I, and I think it is primarily because of the layout. And I think that this is outstanding software. I really do. Um, so with that said, thank you for watching. Thank you for your viewership. And I will talk to you soon. Thanks.